So we would be starting now. It is 12.20 already. So as I mentioned earlier, my name is Alafia Bami Ola de Popo. I am one of the leads at Free Knowledge Africa. Specifically, I'm the director of research and education. And, and we would be moving on with the webinar. So everyone that has joined, we appreciate you. We thank you for coming in. So today's webinar would be on it would be on a practical session on what Wikimedia Commons and Creative Commons licenses are. In the pre in the previous webinar, which took place last month, we we discussed about what CC licenses, what how the Creative Commons has been as an organization, and we mentioned briefly on what Wikimedia Commons is and what or, and what Flickr Commons is. So at this moment, we would be improving on that knowledge, and we will be talking on on how to contribute. So there will be like a practical session where. Uh, Busola would teach you how to use a Wikimedia, an image from Wikimedia Commons. I will show you how to upload on, on YouTube. And I would like to state now that if you have any questions, you can use the chat box. Like try not to interrupt a participant. Just indicate your questions in the chat box and we would move forward. So the next, the next slides which, which Isaac would share is talking about is talking about the intro like just an introduction to creative commons licenses which we discussed so from the slide three uh hope rb will just give us a practical guide into what wikimedia commons is and we should ask questions while in play uh, why she is in why she's competing so at the end of our session she would, she would communicate to the rest of us. So thank you, everyone. Hope you can have the floor now. Um, so good afternoon, everyone. Um, once again, my name is um, Opadi, and I'll be teaching us on a practical session on how we can upload on Wikimedia Commons. And before then, we would uh, talk about what Wikimedia Commons is. So the next slide is... So Wikimedia Commons is a collaborative platform for sharing media files, including images, sounds, and videos. It is part of the larger Wikimedia family of projects, which includes um, Wikimedia. So in essence, Wikimedia Commons is an online repository that was launched in 2004. And um, it's part of the sister projects of um of Wiki of Wikimedia. So under Wikimedia we have Wikipedia, Wikipedia. So Wiki Commons is um is part of the sister project and it includes images, videos, audio files, and more. So um Wikimedia Commons is powered by volunteers. Wikimedia Commons is powered by a community of volunteers who contribute to content to make it a diverse and inclusive library of media files. So um, the people that contribute to Wikimedia Commons, that make Wikimedia Commons possible, are volunteers like me and like you, yeah, that make sure that our cultural heritage is preserved and make sure that, okay, files, pictures that can be used, free pictures, yeah, open license pictures that can be used are possible. Um, global reach, Wikimedia Commons hosts millions of media files around Sorry, around um around the world, making it a valuable resource for researchers, educators, and creatives. So basically, the Wikimedia Commons um makes it possible for a collection of um you know a collection of pictures or a collection of files or a collection of col of African and other um, cultural heritage um, collections possible to be available for global reach. That means other people that cannot have access 
to eat in that um in that location but through Wikimedia Commons through the internet they are able to you know have access to these files around the world. Next slide please. Why is it important to contribute to Wikimedia Commons? Contribute to a global collective effort to preserve and share knowledge. Help preserve and share cultural heritage and biodiversity through images, videos, and sound recordings. Enable creatives to use remix media files to create new works, promoting innovation and collaboration. So, like I said earlier, so Wikimedia Commons is one of the platforms to you know contribute and um, contribute to the open knowledge and to preserve and share free knowledge. So it is also a um, platform to also preserve our cultural heritage, you know, cultural heritage, biodiversity, and the likes. It's a platform to also preserve, um, you know, for instance, um, things that probably would have gone extinct. Um, if you like digitize them, for instance, our cultural heritage, if stuff that could have gone extinct but then if we digitize them and then upload them on um wikimedia commons it preserves them for generations to come i mean uh up to the future generation yes we'll be able to assess and know that okay these things existed in our cultural heritage it enables creatives to use remix media files to create new works promoting innovation and collaboration so just the way that, that um I'm trying to remember. Just the way graphic designers will go to a, I'm trying to remember if I class site or it's not coming to my head right now. Just the way graphic designers will go to interest. Pinterest. In interest, yeah. That's not what I wanted to say, but then that's fine. And just they do go to pin interest and other sites for free photos and or free images. That that's the same way creatives who can also come to um, Wikimedia Commons to remix the um work for a for instance now. Say that um, the knock, um, the knock image is the knock image or the knock artifact now. So, um, if I need to use a picture as a graphic designer, for instance, and I need to use the knock artifact, I can come to um, Wikimedia Commons and you know search for it for making sure that I am using it under the li license that it was published. Next slide, please. Understanding creative commons. So um in the last webinar, um if you were not available, you can listen to it on our YouTube channel at Free Knowledge Africa. So you can go to YouTube and listen to the last um webinar. So in our last webinar, we talked um extensively about what creative commons is and sorry, excuse me, and how we can use um those licenses. So Creative Commons is um, is a platform that um, gives us open licenses to use, basically. So Creative Commons licenses allows creators to give permissions, permission to use, share, and remix their work under certain um, conditions. So um, Creative Commons helps reduce the whole um, you know, copyright issue in a way because um, some, if for instance, if someone releases a book, right, not under creative common licenses, just normal licenses, it'll be very hard to reuse or remix that book. Or if the author published that book using creative common licenses, you know, it will be easy for, you know, instead of you writing a letter to the author to grant you permission to, you know, rewrite or reuse that book. Creative Commons license just makes it easy for you to, uh, you know, reuse or remix that book under the under the license, the open license that the author actually published it under. Um, types of Creative Commons licenses. There are several types of Creative Commons licenses with different conditions. Some allow commercial use, some require attribution, some allow modifications, and so as we continue, we would see the types of Creative Commons licenses that. We have choosing the right license when contributing to Wikimedia Commons. It is important to choose the right license for your content. Consider the intended use, your personal preference, and any legal issues. So, when 
contributing to Wikimedia Commons when you want to um, maybe upload pictures or you want to um, um, take pictures to remix or reuse. It is important that you know the right license. You know you know the right license to to use. Um, next slide, please. Next slide. Okay. So there are different types of creative common licenses. There's CC by CC by SC, CC by ND. <clears throat> Excuse me. CC by NC and so what's CC by? So CC by is um creative commons by attribution, right? So it allows others to use, share and modify your content as long as they give credit to you. So if I release my work on that CC by and anyone wants to be used that work, they have to attribute it to me, like maybe the link or wherever like they found. Oh. Okay. Wherever that they found that um that file from or that work from, they have to attribute it to me that okay, it is me that it is hope that you know has this work. So that is how they can use that um they can use that license. CC by SA, CC by SA, CC by share alike. That's what SA means. SA means share alike. Allows allows others to use, share, and modify your content as long as they give you credit and release their contribution. Under, under the same license. So um CC by SA, if I release my work under CC by SA, um the other people can reuse and reshare and modify that work. And on, 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 on a condition that they release that work under that same license, they cannot use any other license except by CC by SA. And also attribute it to me that, okay, I was the one that um, released this work. CC by ND means no derivatives. This is one of the strictest, um, the strictest CC the Stricted Creative Commons license. It allows others to use and share your content as long as they give you credit, but they cannot modify. For CC by and CC by SC, they can reuse, they can remix, sorry, they can remix the um the content. But for CC by ND, you cannot, it's like verbatim, you cannot um remix or do something or tamper with that um article or with that file or with that book. You have to, you know, exactly the way it is, you have to publish it like that. CC by NCSA. This is by NCSA. NC means non-commercial and share alike. So for this license, allows others to use, share, and modify your content as long as they give credit, release their contributions under the same license, and don't use it for commercial purposes. So if an author releases his book or a musician releases his or her music, under this license, it cannot be used for commercial purposes. Cannot you cannot just use that um material or that file for commercial purposes. Next slide. Choose how to choose the appropriate license for your content. Consider the context. Think about the intended use of your content and what kind of attribution you want to use. So it is important that you, you know, make your do your research, like understand each and every of these licenses and how it connects with the work you want to um to release or you want to publish. Get informed. Yeah, that's what the next thing says. Get informed, understand the specifics of each CC license and how they apply to your content. Make it personal. Choose a license that aligns with your personal values and goals for contributing to Wikimedia Commons. So in essence, you have to choose the appropriate license for your content. So if you want to, if you want to um release a book, what license can you release it under? You have to do your research if you want to. Um, choose the appropriate time for your content. Next slide, please. Next 
steps for contributing to Wikimedia Commons. So the first step, um, after this, um, I'll show you the interface of Wikimedia Commons. So steps for create for contributing to Wikimedia Commons. Sign up for a Wikimedia Commons account using your preferred email and username. Upload your content, choose the files you want to upload, and provide any necessary information, such as authorship and CC license. Tag the content, assign appropriate categories, tags, and descriptions. So make your content easy to find and engage with the community, join conversations, provide feedback, and collaborate with others to make Wikimedia Commons even better. Um, so quickly, I'll just um, go like practically like the practical session on how you can um, upload um, how you can upload pictures or files on wiki comments so i would be sharing my screen Yes, so um, I already looked into the, um, this is this is Wikimedia Commons, and I already looked into um, Wikimedia Commons. At the top, you if you don't have an account, at the top, you'd see where you can um, create. So yeah, this is the interface, and as you can see, there's the upload button, right? So if you want to, for instance, if you want to upload um, an image, the image I'll be uploading was one of the images I took um, when I went for a photo walk in the zoological, in the Lawrence Zoological um, Garden. So here, yeah, it um you can see a blue like button that says select media files to share. You click on it. Loading. So it's loading, it's trying to load here. So, um, uploaded already, continue. So um, when you want to upload any file, it's going to ask you um, if this work is your own or if it's not your own work. Well, since this work is mine, I'll be, I'll be clicking on this file is my own. So it says that I, this is my username on, um, Wikimedia, on Wikimedia Commons. So it says I, Upload to the copyright order of this work grants anyone the right to use this work under so this CC licenses we've been talking about under um Creative Commons Attribution Share I like 4.0. I can decide that I want to use a different license apart from this recommended one. So I will just go to use a different license and then it gives me um the other licenses that is available to to use. So um, CC 
CC, CC attribution should add like 3.0, creative commons attribution 4.0, creative commons attribution 3.0, creative commons CCO, that CC0, that's um, for works in the public domain. So I, I'll choose to still use um, creative commons attribution share like 4.0, and then I would um, go to the next one. So I have to um, write an image style to write the caption, write the description before I, I am able to um, publish this picture with my comments. So this picture is, yeah, these are two horses. There are two horses in this picture. So I can title this image. Um, I can title this image two horses in a zoological garden, okay. just for practical sake. So two um, horses in garden, um, and then um, And then I can write a caption. So a caption that is relevant to, excuse me, a caption that is um, relevant to, uh, to this. Um, so I can write um, horses in Unilorin. So yeah, after that, um, the next one would be the description. So I can still like write the same thing because um, the description of this image are sources that, you know, and the zoological garden of Unilor. Yeah, so after writing the description, I can I can decide to add category. So it is optional, but then I can decide to add a um, category. So like it just makes it easier for when other people that want to use um, this picture when they come to um, the Wikimedia Commons, it just makes it easier for them to find this picture. So if, if I want to use a category, I can I could use maybe um um zoological garden. I can just use maybe other categories that I would like to um categorize them on that, or I will not be using any category. So I'll just go ahead to publish file. Okay. Okay, keep it. Yeah. This is related to the key data, so yes. And we can skip skip this step. And then my um my image has been published. So this thanks for uploading. So my image has been published on Wikimedia Commons. So that is easy to um upload. So I'll stop sharing my screen now. Is that easy to upload um pictures on Wikimedia Commons? So when next you go to a museum or when next you go to 
a zoological party or a botanical garden. Make sure to take pictures um, of them and come to Wikimedia, Wikimedia Commons, and then you can upload it on Wikimedia Commons for other people to use. So I'll stop sharing my screen now. Slide. Please slide, okay. And so Isaac, just go to the slide for today. Or slide 50. Yeah, hope you can just complete your session. Then Brusola will take over from there. Okay, copyright laws and ethical constitutions, license violation. Violating a license could mean legal action, a fine or other consequences. Ensure that you understand the terms of the license before it's made. So when you go to Wikimedia Commons and you want to use an image or a video or an audio, ensure that you understand the terms or the terms of that image you want to um you want to use because it could um attract a fine or other consequence. So it's important so if it's CC by um if it's CC by SA, you know that you have to give attribution. To that and release it under that same license and give attribution to the um the owner of that work like um, Jarison. Copying someone else's work without attribution is unethical and could well this copyright laws. Same thing I said earlier. Attribution, attributing the original author of the work is a best practice in good faith, even if the license doesn't require it. So even if you um Take picture and um, take sorry, um, files on Wikimedia Commons. It is best that for every image or for every file that you use on Wikimedia Commons, it is best that you um, give attribute the work to the original, attribute what you want to reuse or remix to the original author of the work. So, thank you. I'll be handing over to Ulubusola to continue from there. Okay, thank you all. Um, so my name is Olu Sarah Fulabi, like I, I introduced earlier. So I'll be explaining how we can properly attribute a work. So Opa has done a wonderful job of showing us how we can upload works on Creative Commons, on Wikimedia Commons, sorry. So now imagine I'm a user and now I want to use a certain work that has been uploaded on Wikimedia Commons, on, yes, Wikimedia Commons. How can I, um accurately attribute that work so we are trying to understand the whole creative common license and Opa has spoken about it we spoke extensively about it in our last webinar and this is what's on the screen right now is like the graphical representation of all the licenses so the next slide talks about gives examples of some of the licenses I have things like this it gives like a description of some of the licenses Opa has spoken about it the next slide talks about giving attribution in research papers. I think it's like, okay. So um, you can give attribution to any type of creative work. It could be a research paper, uh, it could be a video, it could be a picture, it could be an art, it could be an audio, it could be music, it could be anything, anything that you can as far as creative work um, produced or created by a creator who has put certain licenses on it, you can give attribution to it. You can give attribution to any any of that. So can you just keep the slides and go to choosing a license? Things like 20. Okay, so choosing a license, you just visit the Creative Commons website. You choose the license that best suits you after understanding what each license stands for. 
you have to understand what, what the rights you are relinquishing and the rights you are holding on to each license. And you look for the one that best suits you as a creator. And you upload your work or you um, publish your work under those licenses. Then you understand the terms so that you know who, who is, you know, who, who, what your audience are allowed or they are permitted to do or to use. Okay, so I'll be sharing my screen now just to show a particular example of how we can properly attribute, how can properly attribute a work. Okay. Thank you. So there's, there's this, can you see my screen please? Hi, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you. Y yes, we can see it. Okay, so I'm working on a blog post right now. Uh, this is a, a website powered by WordPress. And so this is an image I want to use in my blog post. This is an image of two individuals. And I'm just going to show the easy route here because where I got this um, picture from was from their website. So I just, sorry. Okay, so I went to the Open Glam survey website because the article is on Open Glam survey and how Africa is underrepresented there. So I went to the website and I got the picture. It's a, it's a picture of the two Two people started up this website and um, this survey. So this is the picture here. And you can see here that they had they properly attributed this picture. It says the caption here says Dr. Andrew Wallace and Douglas McCarthy at Creative Commons Summit 2019. Photo by this is the photographer, this is the owner of the picture, and the license CC by 4.0. So this is how to properly attribute a work. You give the title of the picture. You give the creator of the picture and then you add the license by which the picture was released. So it's that simple. The title of the picture, image, book, research paper, anything. I'm just using a picture as an example. The owner of the creative work and then what license it is released under. So I can easily just copy this and come to my blog post and add a caption for it here. But now I want to set a, sorry, I want to set a featured image for this blog post now. I want to set a featured, uh, featured image for this blog post. So what I can do is I can go to Creative Commons, um, Wikimedia Commons. This is Wikimedia Commons interface like Popper showed us earlier. So I just come here, this search bar by the right top right, and I search for the picture I want. Now I'm looking for a picture that depicts Africa. So I'm going for map of Africa. I just searching what I'm looking for, map of Africa. And you can see it has given me a lot of pictures that shows about Africa, different maps. Okay, so like it's that easy, just type in what, the picture you want on the media commons and it gives it to you. But there's a specific picture I'm looking for, so I will be more detailed. I'll say map of Africa showing the country's flags. Okay, so I'm trying to be more detailed here. Okay, so type so map of Africa with country flags. Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. Uh, you indicated county. So yeah? countries, county, county, instead of yeah. countries. Okay, let's this. I'm still not getting what I'm looking for, sorry. Map of Africa with country flags. This is the exact picture, this second to the last one. This is what I'm looking for. So my point here is that you can be as detailed as you want in your search. 
because I first of all started from Map of Africa. I got Map of Africa, but that wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for something more detailed, and I thought. So this is the picture I'm looking for. So all you need to do is just click on this picture and you get the details about the picture here by this right hand. So I can see here, this is the creator, this is the owner of the picture, this user here, Amodo. This is, the, this is the creator of the picture. This is the license by which the picture was released. Creative Commons Attribution Share Life 4.0. So that's CC by SE. This is the file if I want to download it. This is the date the picture was uploaded on Multimedia Commons. This is the size of the picture and I can click more details and get more details about this picture. So it's all available. So you know when Hope uploaded some pictures, when Hope uploaded some, um, a picture during the when she shared her screen, if I go to that picture now, I'm going to see all these details now about this picture. I'll see her username. I'll see today's date since she shared it today, the size of the picture, the license by which she uploaded this picture and all. So now I've gotten this picture. So now I can download it. I can choose to download this picture now since I want, I want to use this picture in my blog post. So I just come here. Sorry, okay, more details. Okay, so I come here and I right click and say, okay, no, not this. I think you need to scroll up to where the picture is. Okay. So where the pixels are, yeah, the yeah, original file. Sorry. I'm Under to... the map, or download, download is actually on, on. On. Okay, yes, this is down. Okay, so I saved the image on my system. Let me save it on the desktop. Okay, so now I have this image. I've saved this image. So now I come back to my blog post and I want to set my um, image. I want to set this right because, okay, I had uploaded this picture before that's why it's here. But now this is the picture I have selected. Now, if you come to the right hand side, you see um, certain boxes where you could fill different information about the picture. So now I chose my alternative text to be Africa flag map or map of Africa, map of Africa flag, so something like that. This is the title, how I saved the picture. I gave a description, map of Africa containing the flags of each country and that. And now here comes the licensing of the work. Now I'm to choose the license URL. I'm to choose, sorry. I'm to choose the license URL. And for, from what we saw, This picture was licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0. So that's CC by SA 4.0. So I just come to my blog post and yeah, if it was an original picture that I took by myself, I can leave it here as original. But since it's not my picture, I come and say CC by SA 4.0. So I license it with this. And that's automatically giving me the uh, URL for this particular license. Now, I can give the attribution name, the name to attribute the work to. So I come back to Wikimedia Commons and I get the username of the person who uploaded it. Who, who is this? Amodu. And so I come here to my blog post and I say Amodu. Did I get that spelling right? Okay, yes. Now, the attribution URL, it says the URL to which the work should be attributed to. 
Now, this is a Wikimedia user, so I can easily just go to his user page and copy and, um, and link his user page to the file. But now this user, this user doesn't have a page because the page doesn't exist. So I can just leave that blank. But if this is if this page does exist, I can click on the page, go to user page, and copy the URL and post it and paste it there as attribution URL. Now for the source work, the URL of the work that the URL of the work that this work is based on. So I just come back to this page and I just copy this file here, this link. I copy this link and I put it here as a source work. Extra permission, I can leave this blank and I set my featured image. So now I have used this image from Wikimedia Commons in my blog post and I have properly attributed it. It's it, it, that is, you get all the information and everything you need on, on the page, on the page of that picture. For this picture that I didn't get from Wikimedia Commons, it was already attributed on their website. So I can just copy it and add it to the caption of this picture. But this is a very easy way to attribute a work using Wikimedia Commons, using a work gotten from Wikimedia Commons. Now, if you are publishing on a website that doesn't really have all, all these blank spaces to fill in all this, the easy thing to do is just know title, author's name, and license. The title of the work by the name of the artist or the author with a comma and say license under the type of license, you see by S, you see by 2.0, you see by whatever. So that's how easy it is. Just to recap, I went to Media Commons. I typed what I was looking for in the search box here. I got the image I wanted. I downloaded the image for free. I didn't have to pay anything. I wasn't bridging any license. I downloaded the image. I used the image in my blog post and I filled the necessary information using the information I got from this picture that the owner of this work had put up. The, name, the license, the name of the author, a link to this page. And I have successfully attributed this picture that I'm using in my blog post. So that is, um, that is how to successfully or correctly attribute a picture used when using a picture from Wikimedia Commons. It's that simple. So let me stop sharing my screen. Go back to the slide. Thank okay. you. Then, sorry, just to add, sorry, if I stop sharing my screen, this is also a research work. This research work was written by, let me increase this. David Oluwato from Akinwamide. And yeah, he also released his work on that. And it's here, yeah, it's properly attributed here. Yeah. Where my cursor is, it says 2018, the author of this open access article is under the CC BY license. And it sent, it, it posted the link of this particular license. CC by 4.0. So when we're talking about correct and even as a creator, you know, yeah, it is expressly stated here that this is the license you used. So even when you should expressly state it there, because when I come to this work now, I can see that this is what license this work has been used under. I am not speculating or, or guessing if this is um, copyrighted, if this is under a certain license or another license. It's expressly stated here where everybody can see. So even as the creator, you should make you should make your license very visible, like a place where your users can find them. The person will be able to see whatever license you release your work under. So I just wanted to add that to it. And Okay. Stop sharing so, so I can continue.
So I think you stopped that slide. It. Which 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 slide did you stop at, Busola? I stopped around twenty slide two. Okay. Yeah, so you can continue. Okay, so um, giving, like I said earlier, you can give attribution to any kind of work, be it an artifact, a painting, a photograph, a book, a picture. And like Hope stated in the previous, during our sessions, we talked about with media commons, not just for images, but for video, for audio and everything. So even you, if you have a video that you upload, you have a video I want to use in my blog post, like, like it's, the same applies to this all, be it image, video, ads, or anything. The same applies to them all. So um, just to highlight what I... Lucilla, are you there? Uh, I can't hear you any longer. Busola, are you there? About the next slide. In what I said. Well, I am home. Sorry, I had, a, I had an internet glitch. Please, we shall not continue. Okay. So I don't think Busola is still on the call. I think she has internet issues. So Isaac, just continue sharing us your screen. I'll just take over from wherever she stopped and take questions. Yeah, so uh, Busala was describing how to give attribution to an artwork. Yeah, so if it's CC by SA 4.0, you have to state the title of the artwork, the name of the artist, and just include that, oh, it is licensed under CC by SA 4.0. The next slide. And for a video, imagine if you are <clears throat> uploading a video, that it is important to state the, the, the title of the video, the creator's name, and the license it is under. And the, for instance, if you are using, if you are using it on, if you are making use of a YouTube video, and the YouTube video was released under Creative Commons license, so you have to, indicate you have to click the link to the original work 
like let's say I'm imputing a video that was released on YouTube. Let's say the individual released it under Creative Commons licenses. The YouTube link, I'm going to indicate it as part of my attribution text. This also goes to videos like images that were uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. So I am to carry out the same step. If you followed Busola's procedure, there was a part where she copied the link to the to the image. So I'll be carrying out the same thing and copying copying the link to that video on create on Wikimedia Commons. The next slide. So for music, if you are, let's say, let's say you are creating a video and you referenced, you are using another person's music, like you are reusing or remixing another person's creative work, you are to, you are to reference to the person also, you are to create, uh, give attribution in the video. Let's give an example. Of Knowledge Africa is using a musical video we are posting on our website a musical video, uh, a music, uh, a, a video where we used a musical, where we used a musical creative work that was released under CC license, CC by NC, that's non-commercial 4.0. I know Free Knowledge Africa is a non-for-profit organization. So our content is not for profit. So we are not commercializing that music and that video. So we would indicate on the on the video that song title will indicate it. Oh, this is the particular song. This is the artist's name, and this particular song. The particular song is licensed under CC by NC 4.0. That's non-commercial. Uh, the next slide. I I want to believe I am making sense. If you feel I am not making sense. Just interrupt me. Uh, the attribution for a photograph, Busola showed us, give us that example earlier. And you can see that this, for instance, this photograph we, we are giving as an example, it is, we are, we are indicating the, the title of the photograph, the name of the photograph and the license. And we should also indicates that the follow that the caption contains the title of the work, the creator's work, the license type, which is 2.0, and the link to the original work. If it's on Creative Commons, Flickr Commons, Behance, yeah, you know, graphic designers, they, they upload their content on Behance, and some of these works might be available there. So you can you can make use of you can make use of such works. You can just copy the link to the Behance account. I'm going to show us a, a practical from the Wikimedia, uh, from the Creative Commons themselves. So moving on to the next slide, which is the next slide, Isaac, please. Uh, I think Isaac, Isaac, the next slide. Okay, the next slide is actually the next slide is actually talking about attribution for research paper. And the 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 example I'm going to give, I don't know why Isaac is frozen. Or yeah, I think Isaac is frozen. Please can you hear me? I think everyone is having internet issues. Well, can you hear you? Okay, I, I, okay. I've been asking for the next slide earlier. So the next slide is how you give attribution to a research paper. Busola showed us an example earlier of a research paper written by Nigerian and written, written by a Nigerian and how the individual how the individual uh, give reference, give give attribution for the work. So you state the title of the research paper, the author's name and the license that means for instance if i'm if i write something on social media or if i write something in a research journal and may, okay let's say i'm to indicate also in the 
in the in the bibliography that oh this this author actually released his work under CC license. So this is how you give the attribution. So the next slide, please. So for a book, <clears throat> if you are referencing a book, is you in the, it's just the same uh, procedure. You indicate the book title, the author's name, and the license it is it was released. It is being released under. So I believe that we have we have actually shared the importance of of every creative work. So the major thing I would like to say is that. When we are including attribution or for a CC, CC work in digital formats, we should also, we should not forget the credit section. And the most important information is the title of the work, the creator's name, the version or the type, or the type of the license. And we should ensure we indicate the link to the license and the link to the to the original work. And also that we should we should or uh, we should promote the use of Creative Commons licenses by calling out people that don't give attribution where where necessary. Like giving attribution is not is not a daunting tax. So I think Isaac should stop sharing his screen. I just want to show us some examples on how to on how to how to make make use of content on on create or on how to upload content on on how to make use of content uploaded on Wikimedia Commons. So let's uh, let's let me show you an example. Yeah, I think okay. Yes, this is what I want to show you. So if you are familiar with if you are familiar with Wikipedia very well, you know that there are images on Wikipedia and all other and all other uh, Wikimedia related platform. For instance, this is an article about the Lagos Sibadon Railway on Wikivoyage. So there is a picture. That oh, of this screen. Are you serious? Yeah, showing the slides. Wow. Okay, let me let me share now. Can you see my screen now? Yes, can I, can. Can, can, oh, thank you. So you we can see we can see the image of the train station at Ibado. We can see the image of the train station at Ibado, and I want to make I want to make use of this image on 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 a Wikipedia article. So just. So you just watch the procedure uh, shortly. So let's, we can do Wikipedia, we can do Wikivoyage. So let's just do this Wikivoyage article. Uh, and we can even update some information there. So try to, I'm trying to find this original image on wiki voyage more details we can use this so this this picture was taken in 2021 by precious ayara and if you check here you see that it's being used on a wikipedia in on a wikipedia on a wiki voyage article lagos to Ibado, and you'll see that it is being used on the on a wiki on a Wikipedia article Lagos. So I want to use it on 
on this Lagos to Ibadan standard gauge railway, just to indicate the railway stations that are being built. So what where I'll come to is I'll come to the section where we have used this file. So it's, use this file on Wikipedia exists and use this file generally on on any on any means on any website is is also available. For instance, instead of like give by for instance, you want to give reference to this image. The attribution, the way of attributing it is currently available here. You can just copy this link from from uh, from Wikimedia Commons. So that is that if you want to use this image on a URL on the web. So on Wikipedia, you would just come here and you would copy, you would copy this image and come to this this edit edit source section. Let's uh, the IP has been blocked. I just remembered now that I don't have an IP block exempt, but so we'll be trying it on, on the Wiki Voyage article. Well, Wikipedia ads, where's the Wiki Voyage article I was making? Just let me search for it, Wiki Voyage. Wiki Voyage. Right. I'll go to the English and I'll search for videos that are real movie. So I want to indicate 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 the train here under these facilities. So I am coming to, I'll just paste the link here. Oh, the, the, so the image, the link I copied from, I'm trying to find the file again, okay? not here. The link I copied from here. So I will just come here and paste it and I can first show a preview. So you can see it's, it's showing Mobile Johnson Station. So I can indicate it, I can improve the description by saying, oh, it's that Alagomeji, Alagomeji, Ibutemeta, Ibutemeta, Lagos. Ibutemeta, Oyaba, Lagos. And I'll still show preview. You can see that it is indicated here, and I'll write added content, added content. So to you, so that way I have I have successfully uploaded, I've successfully made use of this image on a wiki voyage article. So another reference I would love to share is just what the Creative Commons did to this picture. So they uploaded this picture on their social media and they needed to give attribution to, to, to the respective person. So you can see how they give the attribution here. We might, if you remember carefully, we said that before we give attribution, that we, the title of the work was be indicated, the creator's name, the license type, and the link to the original work. So in this instance, they have done that. And they said this beautiful in, in the illustration, I guess maybe the title is old plant or maybe the, or maybe Lara po or policy did not indicate it. So she just, uh, so Creative Commons just give attribution by stating that, oh, this beautiful illustration licensed by CC by, uh, licensed CC by NC, by Andy is by Lara Paulson, a, free, a freelance illustration. Check out, check out our work on Beans, and they, they added the link to it. So 
these are creative ways of of contributing content to the open movement. So I want to give room for for questions. Do do any does anyone here have questions they would like to share? They would like to ask rather before we bring the meeting to an end. I don't want Hello? to. I don't, yeah, okay. Good afternoon. Go ahead. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, my name is Helen Chumokuru. I work with the Nigerian Institute of Advanced Legal Studies. So I've been listening keenly and following up. And I want to give kudos to the organizers because I've, I've been learning along the way and I have one question. It might not be directly related to what has been discussed, but I think it's something that agitated my mind. So I said, let me just ask it here. Um, yeah, I think um, the first speaker talked about the advantages of um, contributing your content and the weekly commons. Now, a lot of times, people, especially, let me say, the ordinary Nigerian, don't really understand why they should contribute their content for free. There's always at the back of everybody's, of most people's mind, that interest in some kind of reward, and more specifically, some kind of economic benefit. So I don't know whether besides the advantage of um, visibility, whether there is any, uh, besides whether there's any way that one could actually get some kind of economic reward for contributing their content. Then that took my mind to some years back, I, I stumbled on an idea I didn't quite process it, so I don't I don't know whether I can um um I can actually describe it accurately. But they was talking about there's some kind of group or some kind of app or some kind of platform, I can say, where you earn credit by um sharing your content online and then the kind of uh, engagement the content is able to get. And based on that, you can earn some kind of credit, which following that model, they were, I think I had, I, I had it in a conference, the, following the model the people were describing. At some point, your credit or your points, which has been generated by the, the engagement that the content has attracted, at some point, it can be converted to money. And so it was seen as a way of, because it's a challenge, really. A lot of people don't want to contribute their content for free. So it was seen as a way of addressing that um, particular um, problem, or kind of providing some kind of incentive for people to contribute their content for free. So that's what is going on in my mind. I know it's not directly related to the topic, but... That's the only question I can think of now. Thank you. Okay, Ma Hope, would you be answering the question? Like, because what, what is coming to my mind is that the wiki, the wiki media commons does not. The Wikimedia Commons does not give them to for paid for paid content for financial reward or economic benefits while you are contributing. So that is that is a description. Oh, would you like to add to it? Oh, is is Oop still on the call? 
Uh, she's no longer on the call. So the Wikimedia movement, the Wikimedia Commons does not provide financial benefits. I know creators and creatives really, really want to make something of their, their contributions, but it is not always possible for them to. Uh, the essence of Wikimedia Commons is to encourage people to, to give more openly, to give more, to give room to, to make the world a global village. We are actually preserving our cultural heritage, preserving our history through the use of creative commons. So if you actually want financial benefits and economic benefits for your creative works, it is advisable for you not to make use of creative commons licenses, but you can actually still restrict them under by the use of the creative commons license uh, not NC by uh, Creative Commons license, NC by ND, which which are saying that no one should, no one should CC by NC by ND, no one should make commercial benefit from it and or economic benefit from it. That means nobody should sell your work, and you are also saying that no one should, no one should make a derivative of the work. So that is that is the explanation. So is there any other question? And I hope I've been able to answer your question, Ma. Is there any other question? Answer. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I just other... want I want to add to that, Alafia. Oh, please go ahead. Okay. So um like the an ordinary person won't really see should I say commercial benefits or economic benefits from releasing their work under Creative Commons or under open licenses? But then I feel this, it kind of comes back to you because, okay, I read somewhere about uh, a writer, he writes plays. And so he wrote this work and he released it under open license. I don't, I don't know if it was Creative Commons license exactly, but uh, open, he released it under open license and then the condition there was you couldn't make more like non-commercial kind of uh, restriction to that kind of work. And then like a few years later, he got a message from a theater like in a different continent. Um, and so they told, they said they wanted to um, adapt his play into, his written play into like a theater display into a drama to be performed on stage. And then they invited him. And since they couldn't really he really is work under non-commercial. So they invited him and then they paid him to write a script for them based on that play. And then he got his money and he, he, his work was like his work was transformed from just like a written play to an actual life drama or life display in their theater. So he releasing that work like a few years ago under open license, though with the condition of non-commercial, would have really looked like what is he going to gain from this? But then somehow, somewhere in a whole different continent, his work was able to travel that wide, that far. And then it was adopted as to be um, made a, like a play adaptation of the movie, something like that. So I feel this kind of thing comes back to you in one way or the other. It could even be as small as your work being attributed in a certain very important research work. And then you'll be so surprised, like this work that I just wrote, probably as an undergraduate or as a PhD, and then you are seeing your work being referenced in a very important work or a important research work. So there's no direct economic benefits for someone using their work, but I feel there is fulfillment to get. And in a way, some awesome ways can come back to you. So I don't know if that scenario kind of answers that question. Yeah, you are not, you are, that question is not really for me because when it comes to talking about the benefits of open sharing, I am very, very conversant with that. I didn't say that. I've been with Creative Commons for 10 years plus now. I've been an advocate for open sharing. So I quite understand. I share my research openly. I publish in open access journals. So that to answer my question directly, I was talking about somebody who understands disability as a benefit because the example you gave it came it came out of visibility where you share your content it makes it more visible and then people can engage with it far and wide 
that's um, the side of visibility. So I'm talking about somebody that understands visibility, willingly share your work. But this particular, I think it was in a conference, that model was discussed. It came up in the sense that, yes, people are willing to share their work um, freely. They understand visibility. They understand they want to get engagement. People will publish their music and say, please help me share Twitter and so on. But then they wanted a second layer of incentive. And then they were looking at this model that you can actually convert engagements to token. So I was hoping to get more clarification. I, I thought it's something that maybe somebody here would have come across that the person can explain better. Beyond disability, which I understand very well, the, that model was actually talking about converting engagement, disability to, to a thing that could actually be modified. So that's the only reason to my question. You don't pass on disability. I understand all that very well. But thank you, I think, for the benefit of other listeners, the answers, it provides more um, explanations to the advantages that we can get from this. Thank you. Okay, I, I don't have an improved knowledge on that. I just, I just, as you've mentioned, that you saw it in a conference. I just heard about it briefly. So I think I would make a research about what you've discussed and possibly we'll write a blog post about it or we would share in our next webinar. So I, I, I hope that that is fine by everyone. I would actually need more time to make an informed opinion about it. So thank you, Ma, for, for the contribution. You've actually opened our, my eyes to something. So I think if you have any other question, we should ask them. If there are no further, if, if you have any other question, we should have, ask them. And if you are actually interested in listening and following what Free Knowledge Africa has, has, has in stock, I think you should follow us on all social media platforms. Uh, we have a podcast ongoing. Uh, Isaac just shared the link. You can you can click and listen to what we do as an organization. And even in the subsequent episode of the podcast, uh, we have an extensive, we have a, a podcast where Busola and I took sessions on Creative Commons licenses. So if you are still willing to learn more about Creative Commons licenses, uh, follow us on all social media platform and you can send your questions to info at freeknowledgeafrica.org if you have any if you have any questions if you are thinking about what what we have discussed here you can send you can send a mail to info at freeknowledgeafrica.org and also if you want to watch this session again it will be uploaded on YouTube last month's webinar is currently available on YouTube and if you want to See the, the if you want to see those videos again on what we thought about CC licenses, you can you can actually do that. So thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, we would like to close the curtain for today's event. Uh, we appreciate you for joining us for over one hour forty minutes. I can't even believe we used such <laughs> such time here. Yeah. But I guess they say you lose track of time when you're having fun. Well, I'm glad this was fun to everyone that stayed till the end. So for me and the rest of the rest of the team at Free Knowledge Africa, I'll be saying bye, bye bye, and see you next week. And see you next month. So bye. <laughs>